today we will talk about venous leg ulcers ulcers in the leg are very common and the most common cause of the venous ulcer, leg ulcers is the venous disease it is a manifestation of chronic venous insufficiency which can cause disability and serious complications the elderly people are at greater risk of developing the venous ulcers and they are usually chronic in nature the clinical assessment should describe the ulcer area depth edges wound base signs of infection and peripheral skin changes most important thing is palpation of the distal pulses and ankle brachial index should be checked in these patients for evaluation of the arterial blood flow since approximately 20% of the venous ulcer patients have coincidental arterial disease so important for you to check ankle brachial index ankle brachial index is obtained by dividing the systolic ankle pressure by the systolic arm pressure taken in the supine position it generally is 1 to 1.3 and in patients with ischemia or arterial disorders it will be less than 0.8 the standard care of venous ulcers what is it it is simply compression therapy of the different types it increases the venous return backwards and keeps venous health better so we should keep in mind that the different types of compression therapies are available for the patients which are chronic venous ulcers and also we should make take care of the wound by different kinds of dressings and cleaning the wound with different kinds of solutions so that there is no infection and there is a rapid healing of the venous ulcers once the venous ulcers are healing we have to look for any reflux in the great saphenous vein and the deep venous system we should cover these reflexes by endovenous laser therapies and a combination of wound care laser therapy and compression therapies we can achieve a very good result for venous ulcers which is causing lot of expenditure to the patient's management thank you